Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We are at the website of naturalnews.com, which many of you know I have used as a reference to a lot of information since coming to YouTube. I found them very reliable. Lately, though, I've been kind of questioning why Mike Adams, the health ranger, would align himself with Alex Jones. Um, I, I didn't think that Mike needed to do that. He was respected. Uh, I respected his research and information. And since he's hung out with Alex, you might say he's gotten a little more mainstreamish, fear mongerish. Uh, well, now today I really question things, and now I don't know how much proof this is, but I was reading this article uh, where Mike Adams investigates the cyanide producing uh, Tifton grass. And when I came down a little ways in the post, I want to read this to you. Uh, there are some mysterious facts surrounding this incident, including the sudden disappearance of a document by Larry Redman entitled Potential Toxicity Issues with Tifton 85 Bermuda Grass. Earlier this morning, that document was suddenly pulled from the Hayes County Agriculture and Natural Resources webpage. It originally appeared here. So you click the link. First thing I notice is this is a blogger website. This is owned by Google. Okay. My question is how many state agencies or county agencies use a mainstream generic web page like blogger? They all normally use their own domain name. They own their own domain name or they're part of a .gov website or something to that effect, but never have I seen any governmental information placed on a blogger page. And you can see about me, Richard Parrish, this, this isn't, this is not the Hayes Agriculture Hayes County Agriculture and Natural Resources web page. This is Richard Parrish's web page. It says that this is his blog, Harris County Agriculture and Natural Resources. So I guess that's technically correct, isn't it? From the Hayes County Agriculture. Okay, so see, that's what you got to watch out for. Now you're going to think that the county right Hayes County pulled information Hayes County didn't pull any information Richard Parrish pulled information who was Richard Parrish well I don't know there's nothing about him and he's only been on blogger since 2011 the grass has been used for 15 years now I don't know when the information would have been put on there, obviously, because there's no information. But the point of all this is it's deceptive and it's trickery and it's the same bullshit that Alex Jones pulls. Now they want you to believe that his sources dug up the information. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay, you think about something. Anybody else that's had any real information, like those, what, what is it, 13 scientists that were killed after the BP oil spill? Things like that. If Alex Jones had any real sources, he'd be dead by now. And Mike Adams aligning himself and playing the same deceptive trickery is it, just foul. It, it, it's... So, I... Uh, I'm going to have to be very careful about any information that I relay from natural news. I used to be able to assume that it was true and do limited resource, research. But I've been questioning you for a while, Mike Adams, why you align yourself with Alex Jones. And, and this is what I think. I think that because when you give real, honest, truthful information, you will only get a few thousand people to view your information. And a few thousand people does not pay for this website. Look at all these affiliates that are on here. Okay? 
unless you get tens of thousands of people every day this doesn't make any money how do I know that because I own a website and I know the traffic results and what what I earned through Google before they stole it, it, it you're not getting rich you're, you're not living large you're not suddenly traveling to Texas to investigate something because you, you don't no no so anyway the health ranger is in question as far as I'm concerned um, I still would rely on their database for some information but it's pretty obvious that you have to research every word because it's so easy to make you think one thing and it might not even exist.